I'm Superintendent Denise Juno. As you know, in response to our COVID-19 crisis, Governor Inslee made the difficult decision to close all schools for at least six weeks with classes tentatively returning April 27th. So much of our daily lives have changed in just a short amount of time. Throughout this constant change, Seattle Public Schools is working to provide essential basic supports to our students and families. We have established 26 grab and go lunch sites across the city. And I really just wanna thank our nutrition services team for their unwavering commitment to our students and for ensuring that this important service continues throughout this closure. Many of you have asked about volunteering at our sites or donating food. Thank you for stepping up and lending a helping hand to our students. At this time, we have enough food supply, but we know local food banks may be falling short. Please reach out to your local food bank to provide donations and to volunteer. We continue to work with our city and community partners on providing childcare services for our healthcare workers and for students furthest from educational justice. We will share more information about these services as they become available. A lot of families are asking how to continue their child's learning while they are at home during this closure. We know that consistency and structure are essential to a child's well-being, especially during times like these. We are coordinating resources and educational opportunities that will provide access to some supplemental activities while students are home. Content will be shared on SPS TV, social media channels, our website, and will also be accessible at our meal sites. But please know that the profession of teaching takes years of college preparation, expert mentoring and collegiality, and lots of professional development to perfect instructional practice. As many of you are experiencing this week, teaching is both an art and a science. There is nothing that we can provide or that can be found online that will repl replace the great teaching and learning that happens in our classrooms. We will do our best to make sure that the resources we provide are high quality and supportive of your efforts at home. All of the resources we will provide are supplemental in nature and will not be graded. I realize that fears and anxieties are heightened. Please know that we are in regular conversations with local, state, and public health officials advocating for staff, families, and students to ensure that we continue to provide the essential services of our district. Throughout this evolving situation, I've, been, I've seen so much good in our community. Many of you have reached out to neighbors and strangers to provide support and comfort in this difficult time. Please continue to check in on one another. Offer help, offer a kind word. Thank you for your continued patience, support, and engagement. I know that there is heightened anxiety right now, but I know that we will get through this by working together and looking out for each other. And we will continue to provide you with regular updates. And please remember to visit our COVID-19 resource page on our website for more information. Thank you.